so last time we were here, I was trying to put on my uh, tiller motor connector thingy, and we dropped a very important piece right into the lake, uh, right around here. So we went and got a heavy-ass magnet. I'm gonna go drop in the water. Try to find that damn thing. No, my luck will find all the garbage I don't need. But let's see. Rolled off the transom right about here. Pick it up and move it around a little bit. Oh, I felt something click right there. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. <laughs> That's it. That's that mother right there. Now we gotta clean it out. Hell yeah. First try. I also dropped a crescent wrench over on this other side. Well, that was a different spot, actually. But, we're gonna be able to look for it anyway. Hello friends, we are gathered here today to finish this ah, damn tiller lock. Not tiller lock. Kicker, motor, tiller, connector, whatever. Call it whatever you want. It. it makes this and this turn at the same time, which is a big deal to me because I need all the maneuverability I can, maneuverability I can get when pulling into these tiny slips. I think my boat's actually a bit too big for the pier they put me on, but uh, what are you going to do, right? The gist here is this piece connects right here and then you put this here and this metal bar makes them move together. So I have to cut it roughly to that length, but we're going to put it all together and make sure again anyway. I've already drilled a hole here for this piece that goes right here and this ball goes into this little joint right here. I'm trying to be very careful not to drop anything because there's an open transom on an O-Day 240 if you guys haven't seen before. And I actually had to uh, go fishing for the other ball joint holder thing with the magnet. And it worked. It pretty cool. So I guess I'm a magnet fisher now. So to avoid further tragedy, we're putting this right here. So nothing can roll out of this transom again. It will hopefully be caught by the towel and just stop right there. Because last time I heard it, it rolled behind me, it fell right here, it rolled right through this opening right here, and then bloop, right in the water. Which was nice because it showed me exactly where to hunt for it. Now the thing to consider is that that won't move. And then on this end, we've got these fellas clicking in, right? Make sure this is all tight. So when that's straight, and that holds there. And also, it threads in a bit, right? So it looks like I've got an excess if I cut outside of this line. So that's what we're going to do first. So either my battery died or overheated or something. Uh, thought I had full charge, but <laughs> wouldn't turn on anyway. So we've got this all set up now. As you can see, there's this metal bar that goes into the outboard. I had to bend it a bit to make it fit this. So while this is straight, that is straight. And then whenever you turn it, the outboard turns with it. Now granted, it's not as sharp as hand steering the thing, right? But it does free up your other hand. It's where you can just kind of 
do it with one. And that's what we wanted. So we'll test it. And uh, worst case, we'll just take it off. It was 20 bucks. I don't really mind. I learned a lot too uh, with all the cutting and whatnot. The best feature is how easy it is to just remove it. You just pull back this little sleeve here and just boop, pop it out. Stow it away. Leave that on there. It doesn't get in the way. Who cares? And whenever you're ready, just well, tilt it backwards. Okay, putting it on and off is not a one-hand job. You just pop it back on there and lock the sleeve and it's just good to go. So yeah, we'll test it on the next sail and see how hard it is to get out of the dock with it. See if it affects anything. And uh, we'll go from there. You're right, Joe. What? This tiller bar is a problem. I don't like it. Not having like individual options. Good looking out, ma'am. Thank you. Makes sense if you have two motors, but if something is sensitive as a tiller, terrible, terrible, terrible idea. So I'm not terribly proud of what you're about to watch. Um, that's me pulling on the main halyard and I can't figure out why the sail isn't going up. Uh, and you may have already noticed that there's nothing holding up that sail. That's because my main halyard is holding up my boom because my topping lift, which I've since replaced, is absolutely garbage. And uh, I use the main halyard to hold that boom up just to be safe. 
and so it doesn't slap around uh, against the, the mast when I'm at dock. But yeah, here's me doing my damnedest to, to take pressure off that halyard so I can put it on the sail. Now we can relax. So as I was saying, uh, this thing, no, no thank you. The weight and resistance it put on the tiller was awful. I did not feel any, any more control. In fact, I felt like I was in less control because it just felt so heavy and sluggish. So definitely not putting that back on. We'll take all these peripheral pieces off. I might keep it just as like a bonus for the next owner and be like, hey, if you want this, here's how it is, here's how it works. But. I'm not using it. And uh, our depth sounder is doing just fine. Real well. So we'll do the permanent installation. Whatever bay I'm stopping at, and I'm not sure which one that is yet. I've looked on the maps and I have an idea, but we'll see how far I get with these conditions. So we're only going about three knots. I've only got the main up. Uh, and I'm happy with that for now. Like I always say, I just go slow. I don't care. Holy Jesus! What is that? What the f It would be me if something didn't go wrong.
might have been our best tack ever. Even with the uh, hang up and turning too soon, and everything I did wrong. So it worked out really well. I'm gonna thank the wind for that. That wasn't me. I don't know why I even like sailing, honestly. It's sweaty, it's difficult. You constantly have to adjust things and check things and watch things. There's, there's no rest. For lake sailing, at least. Uh, well, small river sailing. I'm on Kentucky Lake. There's maybe two miles from shore to shore. Uh, so you get, you get a solid like half hour on a good day of not having to tack back and forth, right? But the wind isn't great. I think I'm getting three knots of wind right now, which thankfully it's just right to keep me rolling. But what? I don't personally get it. I don't know why I enjoy this. I was in a motorcycle club for the longest time. I didn't like that. I, that's not true. I liked it, but I didn't enjoy. I didn't enjoy it enough to keep with it, right? I've been in bands. I've toured America. I've toured the eastern part of America. I've never gone that far west. But I've had a lot of experiences. And it's like I knew sailing would be something I enjoyed without ever actually doing it. I <laughs> actually, this is a good time for a story. My first sail ever was on, I think, like a Flying Dutchman, I think is what it's called. A little 14, maybe 16 foot uh, sailboat. And I posted it, I joined a, a Facebook group about sailing on Kentucky Lake. And I posted a post saying, hey, if anyone will to take me out, I just want to see what sailing's all about, see what it's like, see if I enjoy it. And we ended up going out after I was off work one day. And I was so nervous that my stomach was in knots. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know this lady. Uh, like, what if I get seasick in front of this stranger? What do I do? So I'm already miserable, right? And it's hot. The cabin that I had to meet her at, there was no AC. So I'm like sweating to death already changing into different clothes uh, she's like do you want any water or snacks for the trip and I'm like I don't know I don't know if I can eat anything or not but anyway we get to the actual sailing and immediately I love it now granted I was nauseous and I had heartburn and I didn't know what I was doing and she kept asking me questions about myself I think she could tell that I was nervous and not having the best time so she kept asking me questions about myself and I was trying to be as social as possible without gagging uh, but I was so focused on enjoying how much we were healing and the tax and every time she would say anything related to sailing I was hyper focused I wanted to learn everything about it so that was fantastic and even after all of that misery I got off uh, we got back the motor <laughs> the motor runs out of gas about a quarter mile from the dock so I had to go on to the bow and paddle with a big wooden paddle while she steered with the rudder uh, Sorry, I've got a barge on my port. I'm trying to find out if I need to get out of his way or not. I feel like he's going to turn into the channel, so it should be okay. I'll, I'll tack it for them. Uh, so we... You know what? My bay is on that side anyway. I'm going to... I'm going to tack real quick, and I'll, I'll complete the story after that. Hang on. Stop it. All right, that was our best hack ever. I'm getting better. If I can just get better at cleat knots, it'd be all right. Cleat hitch or whatever you want to call the damn thing. Hey, there we go. Where was I? Right, so I get off the boat, miserably nauseous still, heartburn, I'm chewing tums like they're candy. I'm like, thank you, no, it was great, I had a great time, I'll see you later. I get in the truck and I'm driving and I have to stop and pull over and vomit <laughs> because of how 
awful I felt and it was all nerves right at no point did I feel like any kind of dizziness or real nausea it was just miserable heartburn from my nerves these gloves are falling apart I've got to replace these and that's when I knew right like there's no way I could be this happy about something that just made me feel that awful so that's when I decided I was gonna buy a boat I want to say it was a year, a little over a year ago, that I got on her boat because it was still warm. And I started searching after that. I don't know. I have to check. I'll, I, I've got messages with her. I'll check for the actual like date when I did that. But it's been maybe a year since I first sailed, and I immediately had to buy one. I had to get my own. So here we are. It's been a constant repair job. But I've loved... When they say sailing is 10% sailing and 90% working on it at the dock, they mean it. But that 10% is worth it. It's absolutely worth it. This is the best thing I've ever done. I won't call it a regret that I didn't do it sooner, but I do wish I had somehow come across someone's YouTube channel or gotten on a friend's sailboat or just gone down to the marina and, and got a good look at a sailboat at least 10 years ago. I've got plenty of time. Uh, all of my heroes are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s just now crossing oceans, so I have time. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't want more, you know? But either way, the weather's perfect, so I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, story time over. I'll see you at the bay. I'm sure there's barely enough light to see, but we did get to a bay to anchor. I ended up having to motor in because the sun set much faster than expected. So, that part kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? It's better than rolling in here in the pitch black trying to find a spot to set up. I don't have any spotlights or any bright, bright lights. I just have like anchor lights. So I wasn't going to risk that. And uh, I don't think I'm going to mess with actually working on the boat tonight. Now that I'm here, I just kind of want to read a book and sit back and eat some tuna. Yeah. I'll see you all in the morning. The winds betrayed me in my sleep. They started coming from the south and this little bay finger that I'm in points north. So all the waves have been coming straight onto my bow since about 2 a.m. It was too dark for me to really see where I was going. Just to give you an idea here. The camera can't do it justice because I'm holding it. If it was attached to the boat, excuse me, you would see the angle is impressive. So I just tried to grip my teeth and bear it last night. Anchor didn't drag, so that's nice. But we're sleepy. It's good wind though, so we'll do a little sailing. Head back to the dock, work on some stuff, maybe. So for breakfast, I decided I needed some protein, since all I had last night were uh, fig bars. I've never had bagged chicken. It's food. But, I wouldn't pick it again. We're almost home. Blazing 1.5 knots, maybe two. Where's all that wind from last night? Why isn't that here now? Son of a bitch. The wind can't seem to make up its mind today, so we're just kind of meandering across the lake here.
like most humans, I've convinced myself that alcohol is completely safe and won't have any negative effects whatsoever. And then this morning, I can only drink half a cup of coffee because of my stomach. And now I am sacrificing speed for comfort, which is normal for me, but I really want to get back to that dock and get some real food from the bakery nearby because the adult beverages in that yawing bay, in that rolly two foot wave bay, not to mention the little little amount of sleep I got. We're ready to, we're ready to, to tie it up. We had a good day yesterday. It's a nice sail back now. It'll be a good nap when we get to the house. Okay, so just a uh, forewarning here. I'm going to motor back into the marina here. Uh, the wind was pretty much dead on the way back after that last bit, so we just hurried up and got home. And I, uh, I didn't hit anybody this time, but I'm not proud of my docking or the procedure I went through at all once I got there. I would have hit a neighbor had I had one in the slip with me. Luckily, it's just me in the slip. Uh, ignore that. Ding, I'm not re-recording this. Uh, so from here, if you want to watch me do all the wrong things, keep watching. Uh, if not, you want to click off and go watch something else, I won't be offended. It's, it's pretty much a mostly an edited video of uh, me docking terribly. I come in at the wrong angle. My line isn't prepared at all that I throw around the cleat. Uh, I end up using my boat hook to pull myself over to my actual side of the slip. It's a hot mess, but I have no reason to hide my inability to dock because I'm new so hopefully I can make some other people feel better about their docking abilities if they are also terrible at it like me uh, yeah so to all you seasoned sailors cringing to death right now I'm open to advice to all you new guys who feel like you are represented in this moment I'm glad I could be there for you enjoy I need docking lessons.